Hi guys, welcome to Vinny's Adisan Journey. If you like all things piggy, you're gonna like this unique porky flavors. Imagine how the umami taste tickles your taste bud. And yeah, it's none other than fried bihun with its two pork. Here we need one whole bulb of garlic, skin peeled and chopped. Two cans of Marling brand stew pork. And why this particular brand? Because I find that its flavor is just nice. We don't have to add any other seasonings except just for dark soy sauce. For the noodles, we need 5 portions of bihun soaked in water for 15 minutes. And this is gonna serve for 5 persons. One bunch of Chinese mustard green, washed thoroughly and cut lengthwise. Now open two cans of stew pork. You will see there's a lot of oil floating on top. Scoop the oil into the wok. During this procedure, you have to be extra careful. You have to be prepared the oil will splatter. This is due to the gravy which is mixed with the oil. When there is water particle in the oil, it will splatter. Now, add in chopped garlic and saute until fragrant. Remember, we have opened two cans of stew pork. Now, add in the oil from another can. Continue to sauté the garlic. When the garlic is fragrant, pour in the canned stew pork. These two cans of stew pork is just nice for five servings. But if you use another brand of stew pork, definitely you gotta adjust the taste because not every brand will taste the same. Now, add in the mustard green stem part go in first.
Add in the leaf part of the mustard green now. Add in the bihun to stir fry together. Add in half teaspoon of dark soy sauce. I'm actually adding in much lesser than that amount because I don't want my bihun to be too dark. Continue to stir fry until all the gravy are being well absorbed by the bihun. Please take note that I do not add in any other seasoning because I find that the flavor is just enough and just nice. Voila! My fried bihun with stew pork is ready to be served. Thanks for watching Vinny's Adisan journey. If you like my video, please click to subscribe and don't forget to hit the notification button so that you get notified every time I post a new video. Till then, bye for now.